Today on Outdoor Handyman Adventures, I'm going to be working on this Troy built Super Bronco I just picked up. And I'm fixing it to sale. So this will be up for sale. But I got to figure out what, what's wrong with it. So first thing I need to do is... Alright, I got this loose. I noticed, and I noticed this was loose. So I need to get these cables tightened up on here. And let's see. Yeah, it's got too much oil in it. We're gonna have to I have to drain some of the oil out. It's got too much oil in it. I'm gonna put a spark plug in it. doesn't have a fuel shut off so I will be installing a fuel shut off as well filter don't look too bad I believe it does have gas in it. Yep, it does have some gas in it. Well, yeah. Looks to be about up to here with gas and gas. Almost almost full of gas. Need a pan here. Drain some of this oil out of here. Drain plug is right here on the side of the motor. I'm going to tilt the tractor up so it'll run out this way and it won't run everywhere. All right, I got the lawnmower up on its side. I put a jack stand in the front and I got a jack at the back corner holding it up, leaning it. Now I'm going to use a wrench and see if I can get this bolt out. All right, piece out of the side here. I loosened it up a little bit. Okay, I got it finger loose. Still gonna make a little bit of a mess, but this oil definitely needs to be uh, changed, and I'm gonna do an oil change on it. A lot of oil in that engine. Yep, yeah, that'll make it hard to start. Okay, once you get the oil drained out, you want to make sure you clean your plug real good. And we'll put the plug back in. Wipe all this oil off of here. Always, it's good to wear gloves because your hands are going to get oily. Take your rag, wipe off your frame of your mower because you don't want all this oil up there getting on anywhere and getting up on your belts and all and your wiring. You make sure you keep your mower clean. Yep. That's a starter bolts loose on the starter. I'm gonna have to tighten that up.
tight. Okay, now what I need to do, now what I need to do is lower the mower down, get it level, and add and add the oil to it. All right, now I'm gonna pour that oil into another container so I can carry it to the uh, the auto parts store to recycle that oil, the old oil. You can recycle it at any auto parts store. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in a container, another container. Here's my container that I put my oil in and I take this container here to the parts store and then I can just open it right here and just dump it in their oil vat. Make a mess, clean it up. Now we're just going to wipe all that out. don't want to get oil everywhere so you want to make sure you try to stay as clean as you can all right there's that oil now I'm going to put oil in the mower I'm going to go put these containers up out of the way and put some oil in the lawnmower so let me go get the oil for that I already got the funnel in the mower yeah, I forgot to cut the camera back on when I was putting oil in it. But I got oil in it. It's got some full synthetic oil in it now. It looks good right there. All right, I went ahead and put the battery charger on it. And also what you missed was I tightened this bolt up right here on the uh, starter. I tightened up the starter bolt. I put oil in it, tightened up the starter bolt, and I hooked the battery charger to it. 
once I get it all running again, I'm going to wash it and get it cleaned up real nice. And I'm going to put a fuel shutoff on it because it doesn't have one. And I'm going to get a fuel filter and put on there as well. I have a fuel shutoff here. Uh, it comes with the clamps. It's got the clamps and the fuel shutoff here. I'm going to be installing this. And I'll be showing you that next. I'm going to put it right here in the line here. Using my using pliers here. Let's take it and pinch off my line here. That keeps my gas from coming out. My fuel. Okay, we'll get some gas out, but not much. I'm gonna need to open this. All right, here's our fuel shut off and our two clamps. Got an arrow. There's an arrow on here. The arrow's pointing that way. That's the flow. This carburetor, the arrow's pointing towards your carburetor. The gas tank is where it's coming from. So just remember to flow that way. The arrow flows that way. Turn it like that sideways is on. Turn it straight up and down like that is turned off. Take this piece here. We'll get our arrow. We got to find the arrow. There's the arrow. I'm going to put the arrow up towards the top. I'm going to cut it in right here. That'll be plenty of room. And then we'll get our new filter and install our new filter. And it'll be all good. Turn this up. We need to drain all the gas out of it. Mm. Make sure our arrow is headed towards the carburetor. Okay. Looking good. And I can open this now. And the gas is not going to flow because I have my valve turned off. All right. Now we need to put it on here. We get our clamp for that one. Now, anytime we want to change our filter, turn this off. We don't have any gas coming, or we won't lose our gas. Also, when, you, when you're when not running a lawnmower, you want to turn it off. And make sure you turn it off when you're not running your mower. This is turning it on. That's turning it off. Now, I just need to replace the filter, which I need to go, to, go pick up a filter today for it. So, I'll go get a filter for it, and I'll replace that. I'm going to buy a spark plug for it, so I will put a part, spark plug in it, a new uh, fuel filter, and I will also be washing it up, making it look good, and I will make sure everything works right, and I will definitely try it out to make sure it cuts, and um, 
performs as it should. This camera working. I ran out of memory on my, my phone. So let me see. I didn't realize I wasn't recording. Okay, it looks like it's recording now. All right, what I've done here is I've took the two bolts out of the back of the mower. All right. And I took this off from back here. This is my, uh, this is the um, solenoid. I, somehow I'm getting fired to it, but it's not going through it. It looks like this point right here, this terminal here, you can see right here, it's gotten very hot. So apparently this um, part right here, dang it. Finger still sore. Um, let's see. Right here, I got this um, like a burnt place right here. Use a test light right here. Right here, this right here is burnt. It's melted right here. So apparently, this terminal got hot. And what makes this terminal hot on this starter solenoid is when someone takes the key. Uh, let me see if you can see the switch here on the mower. The switch here on the mower is when you turn the switch on and you hold it there. If you hold it there like that, that will cause the um, the terminal on here to get hot on this um, solenoid. So that's what causes the, the solenoid to get hot is um, someone turning and holding the key will make this, this terminal get very hot. And if it gets hot, it will melt and it will mess up the... Uh, the solenoid and this one here has got the this is a this is called a three a three pole because it's got the uh, the wires it's got the two uh, two wires wire here and a wire here and then you got the one wire here so it don't have the ground terminal on this one this one don't have the ground terminal because it's grounded by the unit itself so I need to take all these off and this little wire here off, and I'm gonna have to change. I'm gonna have to change this part out, uh, put a new one on here, and then that way, what happens is when the ignition, this is the battery. This is your battery cable here. It runs the hot to your solenoid, and then when you hit the key switch, it fires, uh, it throws some hot on that switch right there, which makes this terminal here hot, and this terminal here, in return will make the um, starter turn over. So let me take this apart and uh, replace it. And see if we can't figure out what's going on with that part. Little different size bolts here and that fits that okay I don't need that extension on there Oops, going the wrong way there we go. See it? them little levers are hard to, if you ain't careful you'll flip that little lever right there so make sure it's the right way and when you move your hand it, it bumps it This is not, ow, finger hurts. This is not too um, too hard to change out. The hardest part is um, getting um, getting to it. To get all of it apart. So, that one don't really look that old but i guess this long one ain't that old so it could be it could be original i don't know all right now i'm gonna have to get a get a new solenoid but yeah just to get to the battery part i had to take this piece off 
this piece here just slides in here. This is what you didn't see because I thought I was videoing and it wasn't. But the moving wires that the way it'll work. But yeah, um, this piece here just slides there. And to take it out, I just reach down here, pull it up, grab it, and it just lifts, lifts up out of the way. Once you move your battery up out of the way, the battery's over here. And the battery just, just raises up. And you take that plate out. And then your solenoid on this one is mounted. Let me get the camera and I'll show you. So just to let you know that I don't know if you can see it under there, but you got to get under there to get to the two holes. Try to get it where you can see the holes down in there. But yeah, see the two holes um, right there? If you can see the two holes up in there, that is where you got to mount it from the inside. And it mounts right here on the, uh, and right up, right here. That's where it goes. Just do that part is where this part mounts. It mounts, as you can tell right here, except it mounts on the other side. It mounts on the, it mounts on the inside of this. Here, and you're going to have to reach through this, through here and right here to get get to it on this particular model. So now I've got to go get a solenoid and while I'm out picking up the solenoid, I will pick up a fuel filter. I went out and picked up a solenoid and on the back of this solenoid I got here, you want to look up your type of mower, which this is a Troy built. And you can see Troy built right here. And then you want to see what number you got on here. See if your number here matches the, the model number you need for your solenoid. This one just so happens to be a 925-1426. And I found the number here on this solenoid. So this new solenoid here, um, this solenoid here should work uh, according to the model number here. So, and this is a three pole solenoid because it's got the three poles, the one here and the two here. And now I just need to install it. Slide my chair up because it's easier to do it sitting in a chair. All right, I need to open this. And I picked this up. I just so happened to pick this up at a lot of local auto parts store. I didn't even get it at a lawnmower repair shop because it's so late in the day so I just picked it up at an auto parts store okay these are a different size let's see let me get a size to fit that all right let me get these nuts off of here And on here, you want to make sure you take this piece here off. This little copper piece here, right here, it fits inside this nut. So you can see how it's concaved in there. So that fits right in there like that. So make sure when you take it off, you want to take both of these parts off. Because the wire will go between this, this piece of copper here, set, set on top of this piece here. And then, of course, between, between this piece here. You know, like so, with this piece stuck inside the nut when you mount it down on there. All right, now we just want to mount these back on here as they were.
our ground up <clears throat> back on here. Our ground wire will hook right here with our bolt to go through the back of the frame. there and we want to get this and hold it at the back back here at the back of the frame let's see which one holds that yep hold the bolt at the back of the frame of the mower the body of the mower and then tighten this up I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up and then I'm gonna save my. Alright, got that tight. Now we put our battery tray back in. Battery goes back in.
Now I'm going to crank the lawnmower. So in order to crank the lawnmower, I need to turn the fuel shutoff here on to the on position to turn it on. Match my brake pedal down. Lock this in place here. Like that. And that way I don't have to be on the mower to crank it. Make sure this is in neutral. All right. And see if I can fire it up. Make sure my feet are clear because it's out. Okay, it's out of gauge. Okay. Let's see what we got. Now I'm going to wash the mower up and get it washed up and cleaned up and should be ready to sail. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button to help support my channel. If you like this kind of content and like always, thanks for watching Outdoor Handyman Adventures.